spot by Perez Ashford. Campbell with that line drive shot. Davis will field it on a hop at the 40. Tommy Davis outside the numbers. Got a terrific block. And Davis still alive inside the 35-yard line. Now a flag flew late right in front of that Northern Illinois bench. Well, Davis uh, was the recipient of a crushing block. Nine yard line for Demarcus Grady. Go back to the ground game, and this is Chad Span. Grady got a block, and Span is free. Up this near boundary to the 30-yard line, Demarcus Grady. Doug, when you look at this back, watch the quarterback lay a block on for his running back Span. And that's what you call just playing for your team. You know, you don't have the football, but you do. You're being a football player. You're right here. You're running your fake. You see a guy coming, get down, get a nice block, and Span does the rest. Both of these running backs, Span and Brown, are the type of backs that will get one yard here, two yards here, and they have the ability to take it to the house and having a good NFL career. Third and five, Demarcus Grady out of the gun. Grady in trouble, but got out of a tackle. Grady inside the 15. What a strong run from the third-year sophomore quarterback out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Remember now, he's the backup to the injured Chandler Harnish here for Jerry Kill and his Huskies. You know, Harnish is more of a pocket passer, likes to sit back. You know, he manages the offense, but Grady does a good job. He's like an extra running back back there. He can break tackles, good speed. Look at the balance right here. Should have been brought down, protects the football. Had his first attempt blocked. This will be from 22 yards away, pretty much like an extra point. Mike Salerno is straight and true to get Northern Illinois on the board. Good things happen. You see what happens when Sewell does it right there. Oh, Josh Wilbur now uh, standing at his own one-yard line. And Wilbur will drill that to Jeremy Bruce. Oh, Bruce let that football go and now picked it up on a hop and is going to get buried at the 20-yard line. They'll say he was down at the six. Down, forced a punt now. Oh, Josh Wilbur will uh, have to hit it away again to Andre Jones, Mr. Versatile for this Akron football team with the wind at his back. Jones from the 12. And he is taken down on that special team's hit. Can run a little wildcat. The versatility is, is, is unquestioned, but you'd like to see that out of your head. The more you can do with a football player. Quality athlete nicely on first down. Look out, sec time. Down he goes as uh, he was hit from the backside by Nabal Jefferson, the 270-pound true freshman, one of the true freshmen playing here for Jerry Kill. And you see nicely dropping back. He just holds the ball a bit too long. He scanned the field. No one's open. Dump it off to your running back. Let your running back pick up a few yards. Very physical, and you have to be physical to run the football. Chad Spann, first down and more as he's got the edge. And Spann with that uh, strong run outside the numbers, inside the 40, and down near the 37-yard line. Oh, Chad Spann after that 19-yard tote on nine carries for 69 yards. Here's carry number 10, and Spann will come free. He's into that second level, down to the 25-yard line. So 19, Doug, then 11. But... You know, DeMarcus Grady is capable. He's very, very mobile. I'm sure they want Harness back there when it comes to throwing the football. Mike Salerno with that breeze behind him will bang that through the uh, the uprights from 37 yards away. First to 10 for the 43. This is Broderick Alexander, and he got stood up and belted. That's a loss of a couple as uh, you see uh, unpiling uh, off the, out of the hold of Zach Campbell. 34-yard field goal attempt, and this time he got it. He'll split the sticks. Bronco Rago. 05 followed that up with a 5-3. and three. They have not been above 500 since. Now they're going to throw that wide receiver. Throw to Andre Jones. He's got it. See you later. Touchdown, Akron. How about that? Andre Jones on the big touchdown throw. Made the stop there. On second and six. Play action nicely. Pocket collapses. Jake Kaufman. Oh, Kaufman's in the Halloween spirit today. German Valley, Illinois. That's his fifth sack of the year. 
and he has been most impressive in his last three games. He has. has not, they've done a good job containing him today and haven't really heard his name called much. Does a great job splitting to, splitting to offensive linemen. Getting Chad Spann next to Demarcus Grady with four wide receivers. Chad Spann, he's got the first down and more. Well, look at him lower the shoulder. He'll bounce out the backside. Chad Spann to the end zone. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. What a tough run from the outstanding back out of Indianapolis, Chad Spann. Beautiful, beautiful run by Chad Spann. I mean, when you, well, this is what you ask your running back to do. He gets in there, protects the football, breaks two, three tackles, keeps his balance, uses his vision, switches the ball to the correct arm, and finds the end zone. He's done a great job all year. It's crazy. Here's again that fourth true freshman to start at quarterback in the history of the Akron Zips program, Patrick Nicely. And Broderick Alexander just got planted by Nabal Jefferson. 270 pound. Doug, there's another true freshman right there that Jerry Kill thinks has got a chance to be a marvelous player. And you watching the ball, Jefferson. This is a big time football play. He splits the double team in front. Has worked late for them. Well, let's see if Akron's defense can come up with a stop here to keep a minute. Now Demarcus Grady. Grady on that quarterback keep, and he has cut free. Still alive to the second level and more. Demarcus Grady. That is a run of uh, better than 30 yards down to the 22-yard line. Make it, let's give them 30 right on the screws, huh? And, and the poor tackling our game and, and penalties. Sometimes penalties can change the game for you, and they have so far. Chad Spann, he's into the end zone. Second touchdown of the day. Chad Spann in Northern Illinois. His 14th touchdown of the year that leads the Mac and his 13th on the ground. And again, what a difference this could make as we look at the blocking for Chad Spann. You know, Akron goes from having Northern put the ball on the ground twice and then get a big sack called back from a penalty, passing a... Blitz coming nicely to step up. Look out. Set time. Lost the football. Recovered by Northern Illinois. Brandon Bice on the sack. And the recovery from strong safety, Tracy Wilson. Bice caused it. You see nicely looking down. Just run that football, young man. When there's no one open, pull it down. That's that youth and inexperience. He'll learn. Pull the ball down and just get two or three yards instead. Gets caught up in the traffic. Gets the ball knocked from him. Fumble turn. Week that he was thrilled with how this young man has accepted this challenge of leading the football team. Demarcus Grady has come out the backside. He's outside the numbers and running free and out of bounds at the 42-yard line. That's 22 yards and a first down. And how about Demarcus Grady? He set a career high and now gone over 100 yards on the ground. And he's just, like I said, an extra running back back there. He can run the ball just as well, if not better than, make a long field goal. That's how teams win football games. And they'll run out of the I formation and run the reverse. The reverse, and on that corner is Nathan Palmer. Down inside the 10 to the seven yard line. Yeah, that caught Akron a little bit unawares. They're thinking that Chad Spann is going to pound, and they went off the play fake, and look at that reverse to Nathan Palmer. Yeah, Akron's hunkered down in the middle. They're expecting that inside run, and this great play call by Northern. They get Palmer around the egg. And a goal again from the seven-yard line. Akron's got one more timeout if they want. Again, run the reverse. Palmer inside the five to the end zone. Touchdown, Nathan Palmer, Northern Illinois. And Coach Kill and company says if it worked one time, let's try it again. A play you don't usually see this close to the end zone, an end around. But when Akron is hunkered down in the middle, expecting that inside run, which Span has had so much success for, a play like this can definitely pop. You see Nathan Palmer come around, get, get to the perimeter. A nice job cutting back inside. Great blocking downfield, drags two defenders in with him. 